our prayer tonight. In our series, we're going to talk about financial blessings. We're going to talk about finances. This new series that we have. But I do believe that no matter how much success we have, it doesn't really matter. God is not after, God is not after our success, our fame, our money. Because we can have all of those things. We can have money, we can have fame, we, we can have success. But if we do not know who our God is, then I believe that that is not the life worth living for, yes? We want to live, we want to live a life knowing who God is. Let this be our prayer tonight that we will live.
going right? Because if you're wrong, really want to be blessed, then you come to the right place. Amen? Amen, amen.
először víz, ott fogjuk a tápot, ott fogjuk a jövásra. Tehát egy időszak víz, szállni nem tudnál, mint a kurszápványok a pérre. Mani is a topic that we don't shy on. We go head on with it, because we believe that money isn't bad. Are you following me? What makes money bad is a bad person. Do you get me? We believe that money is good when it's handled by a good person. Tignan nyo ang tabi niyo. Good or bad? Good! Ang tanong na lang ito, ask me ano? May pera na ako siya. Brothers and sisters, this is the most important thing. Listen up, listen up. For us in the Greece, we believe this. We believe that everything should be under the service of Jesus. Everything should serve Jesus. Do you get it? Even money. Agree? The goal, brothers and sisters, for this whole series is this. Are you ready? Or is that a goal? This is our goal. Everybody, please read. Our goal is to build your financial fortress. Take the new picture there. Should we? Everybody listening? You're about to 
ang naiinig na parang tinagpagpaduan niya. Ayan. Friends, I'll be very honest with you. There was a time in my life na ganito ang sagot ko. Ganun talaga sagot ko. Pag nawala ito pa ako ko, zero. Wala. Or maybe later. Hanggang mamaya ang gabi. But brothers and sisters, praise God that I'm on my way. I'm on my way. It's no longer like that. There is progress. And that's why I want to give you hope. I don't know your financial status now. And maybe for some you came here not thinking of money at all. But I'd like to say that being a responsible person, responsible, do you believe that money is also a blessing from God? Yes, yes. Oh, naman. Christmas na. 40 days na lang. Mayroon na pressure. 40 days na lang. Diba? 40 days na lang ang Christmas. And we all know that financial blessings are true blessings. The thing is, are we taking care of the blessings we receive? Diba? We all have heard of what? Stewardship. Everybody says stewardship. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung binigay sa'yo, inaanagaan mo bang tama? Diba? And so, I'd like to tell you, this topic will empower you. It will bless you, and not just you, your family. But, pakasabi ba? This is one stark reality. Many people are not able to survive because of things that happen in life. Two things. How many? Like these. Everybody can read this. Disease and disability. Tama? Kahit may trabaho ka, may pera ka na ipunan, kahit konti. Pero pag biglang dumating ang disease, biglang dumating ang disability, for some, that spills their downfall. A friend called Brother Bo and asked him for help and prayers. Bakit? Kasi na-rush yung dad niya sa hospital. Umutok yung vein niya, tapos ngayon nasa coma. Grabe, nine months siya ang ganon. Unfortunately, he died. And left the family with what? Two million. Okay. This is not uncommon. Tama? Have you heard of many people like that? Kaya, ang dami. Especially here in the feast, we've heard of a lot of stories. Unfortunate deaths, unfortunate accidents. The suddenly kailangan ng pera nila. But because the persons involved did not prepare for such, it dictated a downfall in their finances. And ang kahagulo. Alam mo, may tip pa kasi Brother Bo eh. Ask me what? Sabi niya sa mga parents, sa mga magulang, ngayon pa lang, gumawa na kayo ng living will. Yung living will. Alam niyo yung end of life document. Ano yung end of life document? Ask me what? Ito yun. Isusulat mo na kung saan makukunta yung pera mo, yung bahay, etc., etc. Para pag namatay ka just in case, hindi mag-aagawan, magkakagalit. No? Do you get me? Magkakagulo yung pamilya. It may seem morbid, brothers and sisters, but we are trying to say that it's part of being responsible if you want your family to continue at least being clear about things. Imagine, patay ka na, yun na nag-aaway ang mga anak mo. Will you be at peace? Diba? Ito pa. Part of that end of life will is this. Isulat mo na kung papayag ka dapat ibigay sa iyo ng napakomplikado ng mga procedures. Yung mga expensive na procedures. Are you listening? Diba? Kasi si Bo, ito, sinulat niya in his own hand. I don't want expensive medical procedures when I am old. Sabi niya, if God wants to take me home, don't keep God waiting. Grabe. Ganun ang sinulat ni Bo. Alright? Tapikin niya yung matamin niyo mga sabi niya, hindi ang Bo. So, I like to repeat my question. This is my question. What can make your financial life strong enough to withstand your financial support? You know what? This verse from the Bible, 
and help you. Are you ready? Please read from the Bible. Matthew chapter 7. Together. Whoever hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain came down, the water came up, the wind blew and hit the house. We continue. The house did not fall because it was built on Will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. And so the question, friends, is this: Have you built your house on rock, or have you built your house on sand? Friends, of course, Jesus was talking in, about life in general. But in our context, in this series, we can apply it to our finances. Tama? Can we apply it to our finances? So, kamusta? Rock ba o buhangin? Thank you for your honesty. Because you need to be honest first. Then you can work on. Friends, who wants to succeed here? Please give a shout to the Lord. Amen. If you really want to succeed, two things you need. Everybody read. Education and execution. See you need to buy education. That was not legal. That was at least high school. Yes? See you need to buy execution. Mind you, financially before, ganun din ang mo. Alam ko mag-stocks. Alam ko dapat mag-save. Alam ko dapat may insurance. Alam ko dapat big budget. Pero hindi pinagawa. Di ba? Ang sweldo is happy time. Pag walang sweldo, wait for the time. love offering natin. Remember your tithes? Pagsweldo! Thank you very much. Pero pag hindi sweldo, thank you very much, Malena. But the thing here is this, I know this, pagsweldo, ang laki. Hindi mo ang laki. Pero sana nga ang laki. It's higher compared to the tithe in this sweldo. So bakit ganun? If we plan our finances, everybody say plan. If we plan our finances, hindi pa ganun ganun. Hindi pa ganun ganun. Hindi pa ganun ganun ang giving natin kasi alam natin kung ano yung giving natin. Nakalaan na yan. Especially for those who are tithing, 10% is 10%. Tama? So brothers and sisters, hawakan ang kamay ng mga katabi. Kung close na kayo. Pag hindi niyo pa rin close, walikan ka ng hindi. Pisil, pisil. Hawakan kayo mga masa-masa. Pakisabi, Ren! Kamusta ka ba? Ang budget mo. Bito, bito. Yung mga balikan, medyo matigas-tigas na siguro kayo. Yung mga kamay, mas mamasa-masa na kayo. Kasi nga sa dami kong sinasabi, brothers and sisters, but I'm here to give you hope. Amen? Because brothers and sisters, I was once in that light. But now, I'm no longer. I'm on my way. Brothers and sisters, you and I, we can do much better. Tama ba? Ang question na lang, are you ready to execute? Ang itanong ang katabi, are you ready to execute? Brothers and sisters, one day, Brother Mo was greeted by an attendee of the Truly Rich Seminar. Are you familiar with the Truly Rich? Truly Rich uh, Club of Brother Mo. See, Brother Mo, the BB guy and Truly Rich Seminar about finances. Noon 
ba? So, Valle Verde Country Club in Ortigas. Sabi nung attendee, Brother Mo, Brother Mo, I was one of your attendees eight years ago in the Truly Rich Seminar in Valle Verde. Sabi ni Brother Mo, Uy, good to see you. But that's eight years ago. Valle Verde time. So, kumusta yung investments mo? Sumagot yung kanyang attendee. Sabi niya, Brothers and sisters, eight years ago also, Brother Bo told his means, Apulo, to invest in the stock market. Now, after eight years, his two means are millionaires. They are millionaires already. Because they invested monthly small amounts, regular small amounts every month for eight years, billionario na siya. Actually, ilang billionario? 1.5 million na ang stock sa iyo. Bakit tapig niyo ang katabi? Kasi may narinig niyo. Friends, here's a practical tip. Go! For every hour you spend in education, spend three hours in execution. So if you attended my seminar on strengths for four hours, There were 10 birds perched on an electric pole, electric telephone wire, all right? And they were all there. I'm sorry, I correct myself. Telephone wire, all right? Ilang birds? 10, 7, wanted to fly away. Question, ilang birds ang nandun sa telephone? Are you sure? If your answer was 7, you're not sure. If your answer was 10, it might be sure. Why? Because one thing to fly is not equivalent to fly. Brothers and sisters, this whole series is gonna ask you to get off your butt. Do something. Ang ginagawa ng tabi. Ang pinakas ang tabi. Ang pinasabi. Anong ginagawa ko? Ganun yan ha? Who wants to be financially free here? Please raise your hand. Give a shout to the Lord. Friends, are you ready to execute? Are you ready to be blessed? Then do this. Listen up, this series is for you. Bow down your head, close your eyes, put your hand on your chest, and say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, you have blessed me. May I take care of your blessings. You have empowered me. May I execute the power you gave me to make the best of my life.
But the thing here is this. That's why we have this talk. So that you will be empowered. Yes? Who wants to be empowered here? Amen. Talk one of our series, Paul, is entitled... Produce. Masabi produce. Brothers and sisters, we all want to produce. We want to produce our finances so that we'll be able to bless other people. My big message for you is this. Please read it. God will repay you. Could you please tell the person beside you, God will repay you. God will repay you. Grabe. Pero meron yung Ask me what? Diba sabi, God will repay you? So, ibig sabihin, meron kong pinigay. Tama? Pakitanong ngayon yung katabi, pakisabi, anong pinigay mo? Diba? If you want God to repay you, dapat meron kong pinigay, meron kong ginawa. And that is what I'd be asking you to do. Friends, please read this. To produce more money. What do you need to do? Produce more value. I tell you, this talk is quite technical. Man, let me just say, not really technical, but quite serious in the finances. But I think it's going to help you. So listen up and get ready to assess your situation. The key question I want to answer today is this. Please read it once again. Go. What kind of person produces more value? Yun yung gusto natin sa gudin sa talk na ito. Ano ba ang klaseng tao na magbibigay ng mas mataas na kalagahan? Do you get me? Alright? Now, so you may have some answers to that, but I'd like to say that if we can be that person who gives value, then we will have more money. More value, more money. Naman? Alright? I'd like to start with an amazing matchmaking story in the Bible. Sino dito? May kanyala kayo na nagkatuluyan dahil sa isang matchmaker. Ano ba? Ay, meron kayo kakilala. Sino dito? Nagkatuluyan kayo dahil sa isang matchmaker. Parang wala. Ayan, meron isa. Ayan. Sino dito matchmaker? Baka kayo match kayo ng match, pero wala lang kayo pa-match. Diba? My gosh, diba? Ito. Lahat ko ay kung story ang ito. It's in the Old Testament. Are you ready to listen? Abraham has a son named... Ano? Isaac. Alright? So, Isaac was the son of Abraham. And Abraham was getting old, but Isaac was still single. Alright? Actually, ramdam na ramdam ko yung story ako. Grabe, si Isaac single pa, tapang asawa, nandiyan niya siyong tatay niya. Anong ginawa niya? Ask me what? He posted a classified ad. Oo, he hired somebody. Bakit? Watch. Read the classified ad. Ito, go. One thing, helper. Knows how to cook, clean, laundry and find a spouse for my kids. No, grabe, no? Galing na yung description niya. Hanap siya ng tao, ang kuha ng manugaw. Brothers and sisters, this helper was found. The name of this helper was Eliezer. Everybody say Eliezer. And he said, in order to find white material, he created the camel nest. Camel nest. Sabi niya, para makilatis yung mga babae, kumuha siya ng camel nest. Pag nakapasa yung babae sa camel nest, then siya ang maging asawa ni isa. Are you following? Ano yung camel nest? Ano nyo ba yung camel? So ito yun. Ayan, no? Hindi po yan yung camel nest. Right? No? Hindi naman yan, no? Ito po yung camel nest. Sabi ni Eliezer, pupunta siya sa mga babae. Tapos, daladan niya yung mga camels niya. Sabi niya, kung itong babae nito, pag humingi ako ng tubig sa kanya, ay bibigyan niya ako ng tubig. Pero, bibigyan niya ang camels ko, kahit hindi ko iniingi, ay pasak 
Ito. Amen. Kung babae at single niyang katabi niyo, tignan niyo. Papasabayan sa camel test. Uli, anong criteria? Kung magbibigay yung babae ng tubig, hindi lang kay Eliza. Kundi, saan? Sa mga camel. Ano ang camel sa Tagalog? Camel. Sige na nga. Mga camel. Ito na nga nila. So, are you ready to read? Yes? Let's look at what really happened. Let's take it from the book of Genesis chapter 24. It says, The servant ran to meet her and said, Please, give me a drink of water from your jar. She said, Drink, sir. And quickly lowered her jar from her shoulder and held it while he drank. So, ganun. Pinainom niya si Eliezer. Right? Now, we continue. When he had finished, she said, I will also bring water for your camels and let them have all they want. Eh, siguro kung ikaw yung Eliezer, baka ito na! Ito na ang parang kay Isaac. Alright? Lastly, let's continue. She quickly emptied her jar into the animal's drinking trough and ran to the well to get more water until she had water Isang camel, pagdanong ng desyerto, uhaw yan. Do you agree? You know how, much, how many liters one camel can drink? Alam niyo, litro? Iigib ka ng isang litro. Nagkita na ba ninyo ang buhat ng tubig? No? Yan. Ito lang po ang ininom ng isang camel. Everybody read? Grabe! Pakitapit kayo yung katabi, pakisabi ka, gawin mo yun. Diba? 135 liters isang kamelyo. Hello! Ilan ang kamel ni Elisa? As ni ilan? Sampu. So you can just imagine the effort of this woman. Grabe. E nagkataon lang na siya yung nandunod dumating si Elisa. Diba? Nagkataon na humihin na itong taong ito, nasa mo pa yung sampung kamilyo. Kayo ba? Kagawin ko yung ginawa ng baba. That's the question. You can just imagine, this woman could have what? Nag-ikip siya ng 1,000, at least 1,000 liters of water to a stranger. Grabe. Napakabait naman din. Hindi niyo katabi niyo. Mabait ba yan? Kasing bait kaya ng babae. Ngayon, alam na rin niyo, papasabayan ng camel test. Gentlemen, asa na mga men here? Please raise your hand. Men! Yan. Alright? Question. What makes a great wife? What makes a great wife? Yung may ba hindi makasangot kasi katabay ang girlfriend. Ladies, asa mga ladies? What makes a great husband? Salita ng salita kasi katabay ang boyfriend. Brothers and sisters, even so, what makes a great human being? What is our answer to this? Is it good looks? Is it a sexy body? Eliezer knew that that criterion is not enough criterion because the sexy body, the good looks, after a few years, wala na yan. Do you get me? Alright? Ang importante, ito, the most beautiful quality a woman can have for that matter and anyone can have is this. Are you ready? Please read. Unconditional. Because that is what this woman did. It's dying to oneself. 
so that others may live. Did you hear me? Unconditional. Grabe, humingin yung humingi ng itong tao ko, yung pinala, nagbigay todo ko itong tao ko. Question, sa buhay natin ngayon, sa panahon ngayon, hindi ganun na kaya? Hindi ganun pa kaya? Looking around, people give but with condition. There is love, but not unconditional. Puro conditional. Ang sistema ng world, di ba? Di ba? Ito po ang sistema ng mundo. Everybody, tignan nyo naman ito. Yan. Di ba? Hindi po yun. Acronym po yan. I-S-Y-P-U-S-M-P. Ano po yun? Ask me what? Ito po. I scratch your back. You scratch my back. Di ba? Yan ang sistema ng mundo. Tama ba? Yes or no? Tignan nyo ang katabi ninyo. Mas ka-scratch nyo ba yung back nyo? This is the reason why so many people are sad in the world. Why people separate, why communities are hurting, why churches are disgruntled. Because people always expect something in return. Our operation system sucks. What system will work? Ask me what? Ask me what? It's this. Ay, muna ba yun? I-S? Why dapat yung I-S? B-U-S-B-O? Ano yung sabihin niya? Ito po. Please read it. I scratch your back. You scratch the back of others. Sorry po, may kulang doon. Yun. Hindi pwede pala. Yung natin natin, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Ito, I scratch your back, and you don't need to scratch mine. You scratch the back of others. In other words, what do you do? You pay it for anything that you need to repay, to return to me. I don't need your repayment because I give freely. Unconditionally. Tapi kita yung matabi, pakisabi, kaya mo kayo. Jesus talked about this operating system when he said this. Everybody, please read from Luke chapter 14. When you give a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or your rich neighbors, for they will invite you back, and in this way you will be paid for what you did. Let's continue. When you give a feast, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed because they are not able to pay you back. Grabe, no? Ibang iba sa mundo? Ginagawa ba natin yun? I know some people, pag birthday nila, ha? Pag birthday nila, they will not spend their money on a party for them. They will spend their money in an orphanage, right? Alright? Or in another area where they're able to bless other people. Pakitapin ko niyan yung matabi, pakisabi, nagawa ko na ba yun? May mga iba sabi, yung sa akin lang, wala akong party, kung yung mayroon akong party sa iba. But brothers and sisters, that's unconditional love. In the little that you have, you give. Bakit? Tuloy natin yung reading. It says here, And you will be blessed because they are not able to pay you back. God will repay you on the day the good people rise from death. Brothers and sisters, so important for you to know if you will pass the camera test. Pakitapikin yung katabi, pakisabi, pakas pa ba? Ang pumasa, ang pangalan niya, Rebecca. Rebecca was the one Elgizar loved. And unconditional love looks like what Rebecca did towards Eliezer. What did he do? What did she do, rather? It is this. Please read together. You give without expecting anything in return. Hawakan ang balik na tayo yung katabi. Pakisabi, kapatid. You give without expecting anything in return. Yung mga iba, hindi makasalita. Brothers and sisters, 
This is what we want to believe. Here are the principles. Are you ready? Another statement. Please read. You go out of your way to serve. Unconditional love is like that. May kakilala pa kayo? Yung nagsakrapisyo pa, out of his way, out of her way. Hindi naman yung dapat yung gawin. Pero sige, gano'n ko na rin. Naglaan ng oras, naglaan ng time para sa'yo. Tama! And when someone does that to you, how do you feel? How do you feel? This morning, I was giving a talk to businessmen in Power Mornings. I shared with them the languages of love. One of the languages of love is quality time. Ikan, alam niyo ba yun? Cutie. Quality time. Sino dito ang language of love mo? Meaning, you feel love when you have quality time. Ayan, di ba? Ayan. Nakutok, nagsakripisyo ang tao para lang sa'yo, oras para sa'yo. Why do you feel so love? Yes? Brothers and sisters, this is unconditional love. Tingnan niyo ang katabili niyo. Pakita niyo ang magsasakripisyo pa ba? Di ba? For these people who really have unconditional love, interruptions are not a problem. They know that interruptions can be, what, a door for unexpected blessings. Buti na lang si Rebecca, in-entertain ang interruption named Eliezer. Plus 10 comments. Tama? Pwede namang hindi niya gawin. Tama? Hindi naman niya kilalay. Pero buti na lang. Bakit? Mahanap pa siya na asawa. Nakilala pa natin na siya. Kung hindi niya pinansin si Kiesa, hindi natin makakusapan siya after 3,000 years. Oh! Brothers and sisters, you're happy. If you allow God to work through your interruptions. Next! Here, is read. You serve not just friends, but Strangers. Think that I'm not gonna be Friend or stranger? Stranger. Brothers and sisters, you love unconditionally, so you serve men. Next, you're sensitive to other people's needs. Ganyan na unconditional love, brothers and sisters. Sensitive pa kayo sa pangamay na ng ibang tao. Many are blind to the needs of other people. Why? Ask me why. Because they're so conscious of their own. Engrossed with their life alone. Di na lang alam yung hirap na mo. Tapikin namin yung tabi, pakisabi, pansinin mo naman ako. Friends, we serve because it's our nature to serve. That's unconditional love. Amen? Grabe, kung tinignan mo to, lahat na ito, grabe yung description, tama? Tanong, may kakilala pa kayong ganyan? Unconditional love. We'll entertain. We'll go out of the way. Okay? We'll sacrifice, brothers and sisters. This is not only a characteristic of the good spouse. It's also a good employee, a good manager, a good servant, and a good leader. Tama ba? Tignan niyo ang katabi ninyo. Kamusta ang pagpamahal niya? Unconditional ba? Friends, I have worked in a corporate life for many years and this is one thing I learned as I'm also a consultant to a lot of corporations. The best employees are selfless employees. Bakit? Ask me why. Kasi they don't think of themselves at all. They think of the company. May term na ginagamit. Malasakit. Di ba? Malasakit. Yung sakit ng kumpanya, naramdaman nila. Kaya kahit pwede na nang kunin lahat ng bullpen, na lahat ng stapler, lahat ng paper clip. Ba't kayo tumatawa? Hindi nila pinubuo. Kasi alam nilang gastos yun ng kumpanya. Sinasarado nila yung ilaw pag hindi ginagamit. Iniingatan ang silya, ang 
table ang lugar lahat kasi alam nila na hindi biro itong lahat ang hinahirapan ng buhay they don't just fulfill standards what do they do? they go the extra 1% they follow the biblical principle of this everybody read from Matthew chapter 5 together and if one of the occupation troops forces you to carry his pack one time carry it two miles from uh, Brothers and sisters, Brother Bo is an employer of so many people. And ito ang gusto niya. He rewards his employees. Pero, pero hindi ka may nagpanam sa kanya. Sabi niya, Brother Bo, eh paano naman if my boss does not reward me? Ito ang sabot niya. You want to know? Ang sabot ni Brother Bo. Everybody please read. Life will find a way to reward. Amen. Amen. Come on, give a hand to the Lord. It is true. Brothers and sisters, so important that even if you are not rewarded by your boss, no, sooner or later, other companies will see your greatness. Other bosses will see your greatness. Opportunities will open. Blessings will look for you. Remember this. Everybody read from Luke. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together, and running. Pag nagbigay ka, may papalit. Sino dito gusto maging entrepreneur? You want to be a successful businessman? Raise your hand. And let me share with you a lesson I've learned, and I'm still learning from Brother Bo. This is the last part of the talk. Are you ready? All right. Brothers and sisters, here. The best entrepreneurs do this. We all agree. They're not only after the revenue, they're after the relationship. Because, again, money is just a symbol of value. Are you getting this? Alam mo ang pressure ng bagay-bagay? Dahil nga ba, sa actual pressure ng tao, ay ng bagay? Hindi, di ba? Yung pressure na nasa isang bagay, hindi usually dahil sa pressure ng bagay mismo. Dahil yung tao na may ari nito. Was bid to a auction. Ano yung auction? Ano yung auction? No? May, may pinibenta. But usually, ito pinibenta, may historical significance, di ba? May meaning. Kunyari, gamit lahat bibigo, for example. Gamit? You want to have that, siguro. Or the idol mo, gamit ni Michael Jackson. Hindi ko nasasabihin, pero ang dami mga gamit ng mga artista, kahit napakasip nila. Pero porque may ami-ami nito, dating artista, makakamahal-mahal. Tama? Because it's the relationship. I'm doing good you need. So I value it. And I'm willing to pay for it. Who wants to be abundant? Amen? Amen? Then value your relationships. If you have a good relationship at work with your boss, with your co-workers, then your value will increase. Friends, take care of your relationships. Amen. Amen.
because we don't do something about it. <laughs> Kasi sa totoo lang, ang tali-tali ko kaya natin. Anong kaya natin ito? Alam natin, hindi, hindi okay yung magutang.
after this talk. Are you gonna do? Are you gonna do? Who here is gonna do? Please raise your hand. Tap the person beside you, tap the person sabi mo yan. And if that's the case, remember this. Remember the seven birds again? On the telephone wire, yes? Do you think it's about time? You don't just want it to be about that. Don't you think it's about time?
Jesus. Alam ko yan, alam natin yan. Lalo na pag kinukulik na tayo ng bago. Dahil sa utang natin, dahil sa credit card, tama? Lalo na pag wala ka may bigay sa kamag-anak mo o sa pamilya mo pag kailangan may sakit ang mga may laman. Tama? Friends, I just want to tell you, do not get depressed with that. Because this is my belief. Nothing that God allows in our life is for our downfall. Everything that God allows in our life is a chance for us to become better. It's a chance for us to move forward, to grow higher, to become more than we are. You get this? And so brothers and sisters, kapit lang kayo. Kapit lang. Okay, mga kanta lang kayo. Puro, I hold on to your promise. Ha? Eh, parang gano'n tayo na nanapalataya kung may lang may prueba every time. No! You want to see abundance? Believe abundance first. Because what does faith say? You believe, then you will see. Amen? Thank you. 
naghihintay kami ng anim na oras sa Thursday. I say this because I want to tell you guys to live by faith na ang pagsay. Gusto nyo may iba ang buhay nyo? Ibahin nyo ang pag-uubay nyo. Do get this? Live by faith. Instead of mag-complain, instead of mag- we, we grumble, we don't want to know what I'm going to say. This is what I'm going to Just do and praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Amen? Amen? Could you please tell the person beside you, thank you. I thank God for you, my son. I thank God. <laughs> because if you thank God, your thoughts will happen.
degrees and SM in the SMX and also our right in our green app. Well, I think I'm Googling our ticket. I tell you, you're really going to be blessed if you join us there. All right? Friends, we like to thank the Lord because today we are 463. Despite no passes, no work, all right, we are here.
I give out of unconditional love because you love me first.